brutal. The boy just crossed the road to avoid me. Ah yes, you know, getting away from the weird person. How shocker is that? Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We are heading back into our slash incel tears. And if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification. And if you guys would also like to be absolutely amazing, use code Tommy at checkout if you're buying gamer subs. tastes pretty good. I actually just went to TwitchCon and I picked up Sakura Splash because uh, when it's chilled, it tastes like bubblegum. So either use my code at checkout or click the link down below and it will apply it automatically. It really does help out because every time the code is used, there's a little bit of that that I actually get to pocket myself, so thank you guys. What the F is this? About 30 minutes I was outside and on the path, there was a void about 100 feet in front of me, staring at her phone. Then when she looked up at me for the first time, she instantly crossed the road fast. I didn't even do anything to her, she was dressed like an S2, probably going to a party. I should have taken a creep. Shit, no, you should not have. Somebody crosses a road? Gee, I don't know. Maybe they gotta go somewhere. Maybe they want to avoid you. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't freaking know. Men slash boys who identify as incels complaining that they can't get laid because they are short have a weak chin or receding hairline versus women slash girls who also cannot find a relationship because they don't meet Western standards of beauty who nobody pays attention to because they didn't do that to schools. Wait, what? How does school events come into play for any of this? Why would I do that? Trafficking was legal before. We'll legalize it again and sell her. We are crazy to an extent, but the fears that you bring up are kind compared to what we will legally be able to do under a patriarchy. You have obviously never experienced a such thing. Hey, Dengus, just because something bad was okay before don't mean it's always going to be okay, nor will it be re-okay. Post your standards for girlfriend. Mine, 16 to 19 years old. All right, there, we're already off to a red flag start. Great job. Virgin has never seen a pecker and has never thought of a man lewdly. 170 to 175 centimeters tall, small to medium, but babblers, pink nip naps, the wide hips, feminine fat distribution, very little muscle mass, either strawberry blonde with blue eyes, or light brown hair with green eyes, wavy hair ideally, porcelain white skin with rosy cheeks and visible veins, uh, takes care of her body but doesn't mind eating more during special occasions and gaining a few pounds after pregnancy. Hobbies and interests are quite acute and feminine. Cooking, baking, sewing, embroidering, reading, uh, playing classical instruments, piano, violin, flute, etc. Singing, gardening, flower arranging, bird watching, stargazing, traditional archery, air gun rhyme file, target shooting, dresses in a cute feminine way, dresses with lace in pastel colors and white, traditional European inspired styles, dresses always below knee high, might wear clothes with more skin exposed in presence of me, and close family friends alone, wears pantyhoses or stockings most of the time, never wears pants or sneakers outside of athletic activities, uses cute, tasteful jewelry gifted by me all of the time, doesn't work, doesn't drive, doesn't curse, doesn't smoke, doesn't drink outside of a cup of wine with meals or champagne, doesn't talk to strangers unless necessary, especially with male strangers, doesn't have male friends, and doesn't have strong opinions of her own, I guess, you know, God forbid anybody happen to have free frickin' will, no political opinions except being pro-family, devout Roman Catholic, wants kids, doesn't take the 
the pill, always begging to be filled with the seed, doesn't mind me spending my entire paycheck in firearms and cars, loves me dearly, is compassionate and understanding of my flaws and mistakes. Ah yes, you know, the perfect girlfriend. Definitely not like, first off, they have to like you back, secondly, you have to be likable in general. Dude really out here hoping that he happens to find the one person who, first off, doesn't have free will, secondly, their preferences include, ah yes, I love people who are fused to their chair, being pissy on the internet, wanting to have someone like me. All that on top of the fact that the age thing had a, an illegal number in it next to a legal number, so your age range is very questionable, my dude. You might want to start with fixing that. And right after you fix that, it might be good for you to go shopping for some common sense. Nor I mean men who refer to their wives and girlfriends as their, uh, partners. Why use that term? Why not just say, my wife or my girlfriend? Partner sounds like some business or workplace person. An excuse I have heard them use is, well, calling her my girlfriend would be immature. Well then, why not just call her your lover then? No, wait, that would apply that their wife or girlfriend gives them the hand holdings and affection, which they don't. They use the term partner, since they are kitty-whipped simps who get bossed around by their wives and girlfriends. Yeah, you know, because it's not like anybody would ever make a mutual agreement to call your significant other something else if either of you are not okay with it because you respect each other. Nah, that would never happen. You don't deserve a girlfriend because you don't respect women. Yeah, and why should that be a qualifier on whether or not Floyds want to sleep with me or not? How do they know about my online personality? Yeah, jeez, it's not like you wear this kind of vibes on your chest. Every single woman redacted in history has been Chad, not some inkwell. In addition, why should I respect women? I've never met one that has deserved respect. Respect is earned. Yeah, that's ironic coming from you. I don't even respect most men for that matter. Dude, how dumb can you be? You literally just said respect has to be earned, yet you're acting like you walk into a place, shout respect me, damn it, and then thinks that that is going to work. Here's the thing, a little bit of a pro tip from yours truly. If you want people to uh, like you in the sense that they would want to be your significant other, be likable. For Christ's sake, just have a little bit of common sense, you absolute dumbwad. What will society do when lonely men start committing en masse? So, obviously nothing is going to get better. Uh, women's standards keep getting higher. The quality of life for men will get worse and worse. Okay, first off, women's standards ain't getting better. Y'all and higher? Y'all don't just keep on going lower and y'all think that that distance getting larger is, is because of women. But what will happen when most men start dropping out of society and doing that to themselves. I foresee there being a massive public health crisis in the future as these bodies start stacking up and more and more homeless people start dying in the street. I mean, the way things are going, probably half of all men will be homeless by 2040. So how long will Stacy and Becky be able to ignore us before uh, the stench of decay starts intruding on their sorority parties? <laughs> Lol. I mean, society is literally doing nothing to help us. So that's gonna have what's gonna happen when we all start dying at lol. Feminist propaganda of wanting sensitive men is the biggest gaslight. Women like strong men. It will always be this way. The vast majority of us are comfort driven and are instinctively attractive to self assured men that we can trust will be our rock. This does not mean you can't be vulnerable at all, but the threshold for what upsets men has to be much higher than women's. When my boyfriend was going through some serious ish, while he didn't cry, I could tell that he was physically upset, and at no point did I feel like his masculinity or ability to take care of me was compromised. 
he was truly going through something horrific, and if he would have cried, I would have been right there for him. I honestly feel privileged to even let me see him in that way, given that he is such a sturdy individual. On the other hand, my friend dated a guy that was more sensitive than her, and it made her feel uncomfortable with her own femininity. He couldn't even put out bugs for her, she had to do it because he'd freak out. A lot of these little incidents piled up, and she just had to dump him. A lot of the women here that are into these soft boys do not love their men. They are very often covert misandrists that want to take out their resentment on some gullible enough to be their punching bag. If somebody is scared of spiders and they don't want to be around spiders and you have a problem because they have to have it now be where you take care of the spider, then that's not a reason to leave their butt. It just sounds stupid for people to do that. There shouldn't be anything wrong with the dudes showing emotions, and for some reason there's people out there that think it's weird or anything, and that goes for both men and women. Don't think that just because somebody doesn't like something and it's not a societal norm doesn't mean that it's not okay. It should be perfectly fine for dudes to be able to show emotions, and if you think that there's a problem with that, y'all can go do the hokey pokey with a cactus. Uh, by the way, the trick with the P volume also applies to women. Excuse me, why? The louder she pees, the bigger, wider, more sloppy the hoho is. A good vagine creates a very decent and subtle sound. Ah yes, ma'am, you are not pissing so eloquently, and thus I can tell that you have a gigantic hoochie. But with that last brain cell taking the long sleep, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye